How do you get back on track after overeating junk food like pastries, sweets and oily food? Hello guys, in today's episode we have a question that comes from my Facebook personal page and that is how to get back on track after overeating and this guy is asking like today in a party I ate so much food how can I get back on track? I think I destroyed my diet I am demotivated and this was to be expected especially now during the holiday season with all the holiday foods, desserts and so on and let me uh, put you straight right in front of let me try to explain to you how this guy is thinking and uh, what I believe is wrong with this pattern of thinking and that is if you think that you ruined your diet because you overate one day well, what about the other 364 days? Let's say that you have been eating perfectly for 364 days. Do you think that that one day ruined your diet? I don't think so. Actually, I believe that that one day would be more beneficial, even if you operate for your mental health, then uh, any negative effect so overall net benefit but let's get back on track so how do you get back on track maybe after uh, Christmas Eve maybe after holiday or any time actually uh, how to get back on track with your diet the first thing is to understand that uh, the sooner you get back on track the easier it will be and you should not be thinking like all good or bad, so black and white kind of thinking. Think about it as a continuum, so it's a scale, so today I'm eating like perfectly, today I'm eating terribly, and most of the time you are somewhere in between those two extremes. So you want to find a way how to eat somewhere as close to perfect as it is reasonable for you and uh, as much that you can actually follow on day-to-day -day basis without really feeling restricted with your food. Um, what it means in practice is that, for example, now we have holiday season, people cheated, cheated on their diet, they feel like that, they feel like they need to compensate in some way or overexercise and punish themselves and maybe even do some kind of fasting and detoxes to get back on track. So forget about all those things. Don't try to punish yourself with overexercising, then drinking just water and eating the salads or eating nothing at all. I mean, your body will compensate for you. We have built-in mechanisms for that. So, for example, if you ever overate for one, maybe even two days, or maybe even for one week, what will happen is that your hunger levels will just decrease over the period of the next days, you know? So just continue with how you have been eating before and let your body, let your hunger levels compensate for that. If you are not really hungry, then maybe skip some meals or eat smaller meals, but that's it. Don't try to really um, punish yourself and try to uh, overcompensate, exaggerate it, like going from extreme to extreme. That doesn't work. But what led that guy to actually falling off the track is a more interesting question, I believe. So people who restrict their food or certain types of food during the whole year or for extended periods of times. For example, let's take desserts as an example. You eat perfectly health, healthy or so quote unquote healthy food all year round. Then comes the holiday and you are exposed to all these foods. It's very hard in that time and place to actually 
uh, resisted because you have probably been craving that food and you have, your craving has built up over that time. Now you have all that food all around you and you cannot contain yourself. So eventually you cheat. You cheat and you feel like a failure, like you failed your diet. Or like this guy said, I think I destroyed my diet. No, you have not. Um, so, it's not about failing the diet or destroying your diet. You should be able to enjoy food, ideally, or any kind of food throughout the year. And for example, I don't eat sweets most of the time. And that's perfectly fine. I know that it helps me to stay fit, to stay healthy, but it is actually for me easy to adhere to. Adherence is the most important. That's why you need to find what works for you. 80% of my food is like perfectly what you would call healthy and 20% of the food that might be like once a week or I prefer to have it like once a day or part of my daily eating uh, to have something that you would not call healthy and that way I can stick to my diet for long term. So will I have cookies? Yeah, definitely I will. But I also developed this habit of eating healthily. But let's get back on the point. If you just enjoy these desserts, cookies, whatever food it is, throughout the year, you will not get yourself into the situation where you feel like, <clears throat> shit, now I have all this food, I must enjoy it because now I will not be able to eat it for another 364 days. I need to eat all of it. So that will only lead you to overeating or binging and then feeling bad about yourself, guilty for something and feeling guilty, ashamed or bad, you know, it doesn't help. Many people think so. Anyway, stay on track, get back on track. How? Continue eating. If you have been restricting before, that led you to this kind of situation that you feel like you must compensate and you must uh, somehow purge yourself or exercise it out, you know, like run 10 kilometers now to, you know, burn out those cookies that you ate or this cake. No, don't do that. Just continue with your normal diet. Um, if you are an active individual, if you are an athlete, you will even probably benefit from that. It will help you to restore some glycogen stores and so on. So really, you know, one day, two days, even four days, it doesn't make that much damage as you might think. And you know, just enjoy your food, enjoy it throughout the year. You don't need to eat all the time perfectly. It's a recipe for failure if you, if you think that you need to do that. So if you have any questions, comments, post them down below, reach out to me and you will find important resources like for example, to my healthy oatmeal guide that I enjoy. It's, it's actually the part of my um, healthy eating routine, but that I really enjoy so much. It feels to me like I'm eating desserts for breakfast, which is actually healthy. So if you want that, link is down in the description below.